name is Tanner Barth. In this video, I will discuss the tools available in ECU tests to perform multimedia testing and then provide a short demo that brings these tools together. The first tool I'd like to talk about is the new audio interface in ECU test. With the audio interface, we can hook up an audio input device like a microphone and an audio output device like speakers to ECU test and utilize them during a test case. Audio can be captured in a read step and compared to a reference audio snippet in a, in a supported format like FLAC, WAVE, OGG, or AIFF. There are a few types of comparison available. For example, the captured audio can be checked if it contains the reference snippet or if the captured audio is exactly the reference. You can also specify a confidence parameter so that low quality matches do not evaluate to a pass in the test step. Speech-to-text interpretation can be used to check for a specified string of words. Under the hood, this connection uses the Microsoft speech-to-text profiles by default, but users can provide their own custom speech recognition profiles if they'd like. Audio analysis is also possible now in post-processing or trace analysis in ECU test. Once the test case execution is completed, we can analyze the audio signals that ECU test recorded and check it for an audio snippet similar to how it's done live. Then it can be plotted on the overall audio signal to see exactly where that snippet occurred. I'll show this feature later in the demo. The audio interface also allows users to play audio through their desired output device with a write step. It's possible to play audio from a file, as seen here, or using text-to-speech, as seen here. Text-to-speech also uses the Microsoft Speech API, but just like before, users can provide their own voice profiles if desired. The pitch of the voice can be modulated with the write step to improve results. The audio read and write steps used in combination are an effective way to test an infotainment display speech recognition capabilities. For example, the, auto, the audio interface enables ECU test users to create automated tests that first activate speech recognition on a display, then request audio playback or navigation with a text-to-speech write step, and then confirm that the system responds appropriately with an audio read step. The other tool connection that I will discuss in this demo is ADB or Android Debug Bridge. This tool allows for the programmatic manipulation of a real or virtual Android device such as an Android automotive head unit. Combine ADB with ECU tests and entire end user scenarios can be automated and tested. This is not the only tool available for display and head unit testing. ECU test also maintains connections to Appium and QT Squish, but this video is focused on ADB. Using the ADB connection or one of the other display manipulation tools mentioned in the previous slide, touch inputs can be simulated on connected devices with simple taps or other gestures like swipe or pinch. Duration of touch and number of fingers can also be configured. Tool jobs or tool specific function calls are also available with the ADB connection. Jobs can be used to perform tasks like input text, press a hardware button, or start or close an app. In combination with touch inputs, ECU test users can create robust test cases that reflect actual user scenarios. It's also possible to take screenshots of the device's screen and use the built-in character and image recognition to check for text or reference images inside of the screenshot. Now, let's jump into ECU test. I'll give you a quick rundown of the multimedia demo, and then you can see it in action. 